Okay, today we're going to look at balancing chemical equations. All right, the first thing that we want to do when we're looking at these type of problems is we want to draw our grid. We balance it by inspection. So that's what we do. We have a little T here. We have our reactants on one side. We have our products on the other side. So for aluminum, which is my first atom, Aluminum here is equal to 1. Aluminum on the product side is also equal to 1. Hydrogen is equal to 1. On the reacting side, on the product side, hydrogen is equal to 2. So 1 and 2 aren't equivalent. So in order for me to make them equivalent, I have to multiply the reacting side times 2 which means that I will have a 2 in front of HCl. So now my hydrogens are equivalent. I look at my chlorines. I have chlorine is equal to 2 on the reacting side. On the product side, I have chlorine is equal to 3. Well, obviously, 2 and 3 are not equivalent. So what I'll end up doing is multiplying them times a common equivalent. So if I multiply 2 times 3, the common multiple for both of these is equal to 6. So if I take this here and multiply it times 3, this will give my chlorine equal to 6. And if I take this here and multiply it times 2, this will allow my chlorine to equal 6. So I take this 2 and multiply times 3 which would give me 6 HCl and then I take my aluminum chloride multiply it times 2. 2 times 3 gives me a total of 6. So my chlorines are now balanced. Now in the process of balancing my chlorines I unbalance my aluminum, so now I have two aluminums on the product side, and I only have one aluminum on the um, reacting side. So I have two aluminum here, and I need to have two aluminum here. So I place a two in front of the aluminum to balance it. Now, I also, in the process of balancing my chlorines, I also unbalance my hydrogens. If you look here, now I have 6 HCl, and on the reactant side, I have 2. So again, if I have 6 and 2, I need to have a common multiple between those two, and that common multiple would be 6. So if I take the product side and multiply it times 3, 3 times 2 would give me 6 which would mean I would have a 3 in front of my H2 on the product side. So if I have, my, my, my equation will end up looking like this. 2 aluminum plus 6 HCl goes to 2 AlCl3 plus 3 H2. Now, just to do a check, I want to check it again to make sure that everything is balanced. Here I have my reacting side. Here I have my product side. Aluminum, Al is equal to 2. On the product side, Al is equal to 2. Um, so they are balanced on the reacting side. Hydrogen is equal to 6. 3 times 2. Hydrogen is equal to 6. Chlorine, I have 6 chlorines. S chlorine, 6. And on the product side, I have 2 times 3 for chlorine. So chlorine is equal to 6. Everything is balanced. 